vanity spread in the house of God, some members of mankind enjoy repetitive use of idle statements led by a minister. A repetitive statement made by a pastor occupies time with the promotion of some intended jovialness. For some in places where a pastor prompts the church members to repeat his statements to others is seen as taking away precious worship time, which it does for me. Time which could be spent in the word of the Lord is often being used as a game to help pass time away. Repetitive statements, I remember, are as follows. Tell your neighbor, God got your back. Get ready for a breakthrough. Just stare at your neighbor and say, I know where you've been. Tell your neighbor, I'm building something. The following verses reveal to me how the Lord warns against using vain reputations, which has the same effect as idle or empty words. Anything the devil wants mankind to do with their time and words, the Lord warns not to do. Matthew 6, 7 But when you pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Isaiah 58, 9 Then shalt thou call, and the Lord shall answer. Thou shalt cry, and he shall say, Here I am. If thou take away from the midst of thee the yoke, the putting forth of the finger, the speaking vanity. Matthew twelve thirty six. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment.